It's, it's, it's interesting you say that there about both of you. Both of you qualified for Ireland. Both of you grew up or from, from the same city, both born in the same city in Glasgow. What influenced you then both to make this? Is maybe not so much for you. You came through the system with, with Scotland. You played underage well, not football. Really, and, not really, not it's, really. It's um, I think yeah. me and I probably have got very similar stories, but, but what, I've never what, heard what, 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 what influenced you then? Well, well I, I left Glasgow when I was 10, nearly 11. Yeah. 5th of November, 1972, I moved down to... To London with my, my parents and my brothers and my young sister uh, and then I was at West Ham at the time so I went up to Scotland for under 18 trials Andy Roxburgh was the manager and it was the worst week in my life in football in terms there was five players who played down in England there was a lad at Millwall me at West Ham and there was three lads from Middlesbrough uh, and we were treated terribly it was like you Anglos go over there you go and make up a five or side team over there and Andy Roxburgh would go around and the, the, the other coaches and they'd be talking to the lads from Dundee United and Rangers and Hibs and Celtic. You know, I've seen you play in the your youth team the other day and you played well. Not a word to us. You know, and even in the, the, the last game of the week, he came up to me and he said, uh, play on the right wing. I said, and then I just went, yeah, if you want. You know, I'd given up at that stage. You know, wherever you want. He didn't even know where I played. Hadn't a clue. Then when I moved to Liverpool... And I obviously playing for Ireland at the time. He came down, the Scotland manager, and he said to me, why don't you play for us? And I looked at him and I went, because of you. I says, because when I came up for a trial, let me tell you how you treated us. And I told him in no uncertain terms. I've never seen anyone walk away so quickly. Because he just didn't want, you know, obviously he was a so bit So that, ne that call never came for Never you came, no, I was there. I was up there till, I, was, I mean, I tr had the trial, came back. No anticipation that it's, I was going to get into uh, the under-18 team mm. as it was a youth team. Never heard a word back. Not even a letter to say, you know, you were good, bad or indifferent. There was absolutely nothing. So no talk whatsoever. I was at uh, Oxford United, played Aston Villa in the semi-finals of the League Cup, the Coca-Cola Cup as it was then, I think it was. No, the Milk Cup, sorry, Milk Cup, back in 1985-86. Uh, Jack came to watch John Aldridge, and then after the game, um, Jack came over and said, look, uh, I believe you can play for Ireland through your dad. My dad was born in Bunkrana, Donegal. I said, yeah, that's right. And he said, well, I want you, if you'd like, to come along for my first game against Wales. So I said to him, I can never think about it for a few days. I'll go home, speak to my dad, speak to my brothers, see what they think. He said, yeah, no bother. I'll give you a couple of days to think about it. 9.30 the next morning, phone goes, it's Jack. You know, what's your decision? I said, well, I'm to the couple of days. He said, no, nah, no, nah, I can't wait. He said, uh, I, I, want you, I want an answer from you now. I said, well... Funny enough, I did speak to my family and I said, it's simple, uh, I'd be more than delighted to come mm. along and, and join the Irish setup. And it was uh, the best decision. Was, was it never in your mind before that, before that conversation that you had with my dad? Well, my, my dad, because we were born and, you know, virtually, you, you know where Bunkrana is, you're not far yeah. from Northern Ireland or something. My dad loved football. I mean, we, we grew up, um, my brothers and I, and initially we were Real Madrid fans. Because my dad loved Real Madrid, you know, I don't know if it was the kit or the... Or just the style of football or the competition they weren't be he was a footballer himself. He loved the way that mm. they played that style of football. He loved Georgie Best. Absolutely adored Georgie Best. He was like God to him, you know what I mean? He, he, football wise, he was an absolute genius. Uh, obviously with the Republic as well, we would talk about it. My, my nan used to go over to Scotland except from Scotland to Ireland every summer for the six weeks holiday, drag all our kids across, apart from my dad and the the older ones, but all the younger yeah. girls there, they all went over there for the six week holiday, year after year after year. So, you know, I grew up with that influence about the Republic, but never got, the, never one ever asked me. No one came at under age mm. group, you know, when I was at West Ham, no one came when I was at Fulham and, and doing reasonably well to play for the under 21s. But I was there with Sh Sean O'Driscoll. Yeah, Sean was yeah. playing for Ireland at that stage. Uh, Robert Wilson, who was uh, also available to play for Ireland as well through his uh, parents as well. So. There was good reason whoever was in charge at the time could have come and watched, but nothing happened, and it wasn't until Jack took over that I got the opportunity. Mm -hmm. what, about, what, what was your what's your story with that one? Well, then? but the odd one is, um, well, I was growing up, we, we weren't really um, national team fans. Uh, we certainly weren't Scotland fans in my family. Um, I, I'm one of six kids, right? So I'm going to try a wee, a wee guessing game with anyone. You can shout out. Can anyone? We shout out names, right? I've got three brothers and two sisters. Okay, so I'm Patrick. So, an <clears throat> Irish family. Any names? Who was my brothers and sisters called? John was my dad, Patrick John, yeah. Any others? Mary. Mary, correct. <laughs> anyway, we can. <laughs> Michael, yes, correct. <laughs> so, it's all the usual stuff, right? So, there's a Kathleen and there was a Mary, there's Thomas and Joseph, right? So, our background is all, it's, it's exactly a typical Irish Catholic family, right? But 
As we were growing up, we were Celtic fans. We were just Celtic fans. We didn't think much else. The rest of the family, if we supported anyone, it would have been Ireland. You know, you wouldn't have really thought of Scotland. But when I was um, at Celtic, you know, I'd, I hadn't thought of being a footballer even because that wasn't really on my mind to be a footballer. I was studying and doing other things. And I kind of fell into it a little bit. Complicated story, which I won't bore you with just now. But Scotland came to me when I was 17 or 18. By that time, I was Scottish. It was, there was no anti-Irishness because there was so much Irishness around us. But certainly my family, I would suspect, of the brothers, four of us, I'd probably been the only one that would have chosen Scotland <laughs> of over Ireland just because I'd, I was brought up there. And, I, you know, like Ray, I mean, I'd spent a lot of my time down in, you know, Wexford and Waterford. We'd spent a lot of our time in Kildare, with, in Nace, you know, it was prosperous, it was a wee village there we, were all, we all came from. So a lot of time that we spent in our youth there. So it was all there, and that's part of the culture of where we both came from. You were Castle, I was Easter House. But having said that, I was still felt as if definitely mm. I was, and to be honest, I never regretted it. Um, and I, I'm happy to see that here in Dublin. And the reason was, oddly, the, the same reason why you were happy about it, is because I used to see the, the style that Jack played and thought, there's no way he'd want me in that team. <laughs> I didn't think I was the style that would have suited it, really. So I thought I kind of made the right decision at the time. But it was it's kind of an odd thing to play against it. Um, and we'll go into it in a little while about yeah. the famous game over in Bulgaria. But there was another yeah. game after just after that where it was a game down in uh, here and it was a nil-nil draw. And that was a big one for us as well. And after that, I gave my dad my... my I swapped shirts mm. and I gave my dad the shirt after that. It's funny, he kept the Ireland shirt. He never kept my Scotland shirt. 